Good afternoon, my doting fans. Today we're going to be talking about some literary works that I've encountered over the past year that are not especially music related, but sometimes have a few music elements in them. And this is meant to be just a kind of literary review of what's transpired in 2020, as there has been ample free time to investigate some of these works. So let's dive right into it. Uh, a work that I've been picking at over the past few years, but only recently found the time to really delve into was Philip Glass's Words Without Music. Uh, Philip Glass is one of my favorite composers of all time. And in listening to his music, you get a sense of who you think the person is. Uh, this is the case I would assume for most any artist, uh, the more you experience their work. But uh, perhaps not surprisingly, uh, as I read his biography, the person that I thought Philip Glass was, was not in fact who he really was which uh, I, I don't mean to say that I think any less of Philip Glass because of the impression I obtained from reading his work, but uh, it's nice to see the clearer picture, if you will, of Philip Glass, at least as told by his autobiography. And it's filled with all sorts of really interesting details about his life and him moving from here to there and doing this and that. And it's really a bewildering uh, experience of travel and just experience overall. Uh, I, I, I'm left to wonder at times, how on earth does he get any music accomplished? I'm the sort of person who would rather sit down in a room at home and get stuff done and not go anywhere. Otherwise, nothing will get done. Yeah, so uh, that's uh, Philip Glass's Words Without Music. After that, I decided to pick up a autobiography of a different um, minimalist composer. This time, John Adams's Hallelujah Junction. And unlike Philip Glass, who I've listened to a lot of his music, John Adams I was not especially familiar with. I was familiar with his um, Shaker Loops and uh, his opera Nixon in China, but beyond that, nothing really uh, else. So the great part about that is as the biography would uh, proceed forward, inevitably new works would be mentioned. So it made for a really insightful listening experience during and after the reading of his autobiography, Hallelujah Junction. It was great to see all the works of his that I was not familiar with and to build the sort of stylistic dichotomy between Philip Glass and John Adams. It's really interesting just to even look at the different writing styles of these two composers and authors. Um, I don't know if I prefer one or over the other, but they're both really fascinated. So. Uh, I would definitely check out either one or both of these Philip Glass's Words Without Music and John Adams's Hallelujah Junction. As I alluded to before, as you're reading a biography or you're looking at any real piece of art, what have you, uh, that will usually lead way to some other rabbit hole of thought. And in the Philip Glass biography, uh, he mentions his work on the film Mishima, and I wasn't too familiar with who this individual they were talking about in this film was, and after a bit of investigating, I concluded that they were referring to the author Yukio Mishima. And being the person that doesn't really like to know the full story before diving into things, uh, I went forward from there to look at Yukio Mishima's Confessions of a Mask, which was surprisingly good. Uh, I don't, I did, again, I didn't know what to expect, but uh, it's, it's nice to be thoroughly thrilled when, you're, uh, when you have your guard down. Um, yeah, 
And after reading that, it led the way to another book of Yukio Mishima's The Temple of the Golden Pavilion. Um, what's to say about Yukio Mishima and these works? I would generally say that if you're an artist of any form, you will probably like these works. Um, yeah, there's there's some trends in Yukio Mishima's writings that you, you may or may not like, but on the whole, I feel that if you're an artist, there's a lot going for you to try to read uh, some Yukio Mishima. And then uh, another work that I read in this year, a short piece, um, a friend recommended this, Albert Camus' The Stranger. And it is an unusual work. I'm not going to spoil the story. It's really brief. So out of all the works that I'm mentioning today, if you want a quick read, that's probably the one to go for. But um, it's an unusual story. So if you like unusual things, um, that's probably the way to go. I'm not familiar with the other works by uh, Camus. So if you have some recommendations of his works or his contemporaries, let me know in the comments. I'd be curious. Um, the, the fact that a friend recommended this to me uh, makes you consider what uh, kind of a friend that person is or like what's, what's going on in their mind. Um, yeah, just to kind of tease the strangeness of this work. Um, and then the final little bit that I read this year, non-music related again, is a biography by uh, Franny Moyle on J.M.W. Turner, James Mallard William Turner, who is a, uh, was, a English painter um, who lived, uh, what was it, 1775 to 1851, something around that time. And uh, if you've watched my YouTube channels, the artwork in my videos is almost always from Jane W. Turner. And uh, again, just one of these things where I was curious in the person behind these works. Um, and once again, just like the Philip Glass, uh, it turned out that uh, Jane W. Turner was not the man that I thought he was. Um, before diving in, it was really refreshing to read a book that was about an artist that was not a composer um, and to draw the parallels between this and musicians in terms of frugality and what you need to do to succeed, um, even if those parallels might not be 100% between Turner's era and our contemporary era. But yeah, those are the six works I wanted to mention to you today. I highly recommend all of them. Uh, there's none of them that I disliked. Um, yeah, and uh, if you have some favorites among them, let me know in the comments, or if you have a favorite reading from this past year, let me know, and I just might check them out. Alrighty, so I will see you in the next year. Farewell.